morning in order to be able to work out you need a good breakfast and my breakfast consists of pineapple banana leafy greens plant-based yogurt some hemp seeds some chia seeds almonds mi milk and some water and of course we need a mixer uh, first when i make a smoothie i just put some pineapple into my mixer uh, these are frozen ones so i can uh, keep them longer after that i will be adding a banana I love bananas and then leafy greens, um, these are really really healthy, a lot of them as you can see, <laughs> that's why it's called a green smoothie. Then for some probiotics uh, I'll add some plant based yogurt, um, not too much because I'm already adding uh, plant based milk and it just gets too uh, watery I would say. <laughs> Next I'll add some hemp seeds. These are a recent um, discovery of mine and I just love them. Their taste is like great and they've got so many health benefits. Uh, I don't have the time to go uh, into that deeply right now, but yeah, they're super good for your body. And then of course my favorite almond milk um, and some water to be able to make this movie really smooth. <laughs> I really feel like this movie keeps me full for a really long time until lunch uh, because I've got those carbohydrates from the fruits, I've got uh, protein from the, um, from the yogurt as well as some healthy fats from the almond milk as well as from the hemp seeds and chia seeds I'll add later. Uh, yeah, so this is my breakfast, <laughs> it's really good. Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Laura and uh, today I'll be showing you how you can stay fit and healthy without a gym at university. As you all already know probably, uh, incorporating some form of exercise or physical activity in your uh, daily life has really a lot of benefits and uh, especially if you're a university or a college student or even a high school student you'll be spending a lot of your days uh, sitting down at either a school desk or at home studying uh, making homework so it's even more important to get up and move your body sometimes this is a quick 10 minute workout for your legs um, to especially target it at the inner thigh uh, because um, especially for girls this can be like a kind of a problem zone um, and I feel these 10 exercises um, are really really effective in uh, slimming down your inner thigh and strengthening the muscles there so yeah without further ado let's start let's do this first exercise we're going to do are alternating alternating lunges um, these really activate your quadriceps muscle that's the muscle at the front of your um, of your thigh they are also great for creating balance uh, or training it um, as you can see I'm still a little bit unbalanced sometimes that's because I had a really bad ankle injury um, on my left ankle Although that was like one and a half years ago, I still feel pain and um, instability sometimes. So this is a great exercise to try and better my balance. Next up are squat pulses. Um, this exercise is a variation of a normal squat. Um, basically, you're just like going up and down in little motions in squat position. Uh, this will really activate your glute muscles as well as your hamstrings, your inner thighs, your uh, quadriceps. Basically, it will burn your entire thigh. And especially if you keep on doing this exercise for a prolonged period of time, you'll definitely feel the burn. But it's all worth it. If it doesn't burn, you're not doing anything. Keep going, you're almost at the end. It's not way longer until you can take a rest. Our 
third exercise is a kind of v-shaped abduction and adduction lying on your back um, I recently discovered this um, this exercise and had never thought about doing leg exercises like lying down like this but I have to say it's really effective like when I'm doing this exercise for like 20 repetitions at a time or even more it burns my inner uh, inner thigh like especially that upper part of your inner thigh that's really hard to target it burns that a really hard like oh <laughs> it's definitely worth doing it Exercise number four are inner leg lifts. We're starting out with our right leg. Uh, this muscle, no, this exercise especially to targets those inner thigh muscles, uh, especially the adductors um, as well as some other muscles at the front of your leg. Um, this one becomes really tiring if you keep on repeating it. That's why it's so good to incorporate into your exercise routine. Exercise number 5 is repeating the same inner leg lift but this time on the left side. Keep going guys, I know it's sometimes difficult but it's definitely worth it. Try to keep in mind what you're, what you're trying to achieve and don't give up. Giving up won't help you reach that goal. Halfway done, good job already. Exercise number six are leg lifts. Um, these, this exercise especially trains the other part of your leg as well as your uh, glute. Repeat the same exercise, but this time on the right side. I don't know why, but for me the right side always feels more difficult and like I can't really stretch my leg properly, it just looks a bit weird.
exercise number eight are glute bridges. Uh, this exercise is especially targeted for your bum. It will really train your glutes and with every time that you go up, you need to squeeze those glutes really hardly, like really a lot to try and maximize the effect. Almost done guys, only two more exercises to go. Exercise 9 is a variation on our previous glute bridge. Here you put your feet together or the heels of your feet together and spread your legs and then you do like this glute bridge like the previous exercise. Uh, you'll definitely feel that this exercise won't target the glutes as much as the previous one did. This one um, especially um, pinpoints the inner part of your thigh, you really feel it. Uh, I think this is also a very important exercise to do since it's very different from other exercises you normally do for lean legs and um, inner thighs that are like not bulky. Last but not least, we're going to do alternating side lunges. Uh, when I'm starting out here, yeah, you can see I almost lost my balance. That's because like with my uh, right foot, I'm standing on the um, edge of the carpet uh, and the floor. So it's a little bit <laughs> a stupid place to be standing. Uh, anyways, this exercise will sim simultaneously stretch one leg and work out the other one. Um, that's why I really like it, but I definitely should watch my posture a little bit more because it's better to keep a straight back when you're doing this. Um, depending on your um, flexibility, you can also uh, take a wider stance. Uh, yeah, but this will also really help your legs lean out. In the night you wake me up when the sun goes down Feelings right you And we're done when the Five, goes down. four, three, Sleepless two, one Good job! Good job everyone, we did it! We completed our 10 minute workout for our inner legs uh, I hope you um, you felt a burden, I surely did <laughs> There were some moments where I really had some tough um, tough time a tough time keeping my legs moving but uh yeah it's all worth it in the end um this quick 10 minute workout you did you can do as many times as you want just as long as your body feels up to it uh yeah it only takes 10 minutes so it's really not that much of a that big of a commitment to do every day um, if you like this kind of workout style video I'll be upload uploading some more workout routines like for arms for example uh, the entire body body for uh, apps targeted to targeted to your core and your apps um, yeah I mix it up every single day um, so don't forget to stretch that's what I'm going to do now although I'm really really bad at stretching like <laughs> my muscles are really tight usually uh, yeah but thank you for tuning in today I uh, hope you liked this video please uh, leave a comment down below tell me what you uh, think about me doing some workout videos in the future um, yeah this channel will definitely remain more focused on Belgium and Japan uh, Japan definitely in the future because now obviously I'm not in Japan uh, about travel um, culture differences all those kind of things but it's also a lifestyle channel so sometimes some workouts will be incorporated I hope you like that please let uh, please let me know your opinion on it and don't forget to press the thumbs up button give me a big thumbs up press the like button because it really supports my channel and please subscribe because I'm uh, trying to grow my channel and bring you better and more interesting content but I won't be able to do so if I um, 
don't gain any subscribers so please become part of this family although it's really small small still but uh, i really appreciate each and every one of you so thank you and see you next time bye